exhale on the count of three. One, two, three. Yo, that was oh. really relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to breathe, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> that was probably the most synchronized thing we've ever done on this show. <laughs> I'll just never be in t- tune again. Yeah, holy shit. Word. Welcome to the Joystick Show, episode 65. Exactly. Back We're in, getting there. Back ba- in the continental United States. Back in hey. New York. Hell yeah. Back in the basement. Woo. That was a good episode. If you missed it, go check out last episode. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Different scenery. Good uh, Good luck hearing us over the sound of the coquille <laughs> frogs in the Puerto Rico wildlife, but I think we did a good job. Uh, I bought some frogs on at the airport. Those frogs are mad fucking cute. What the uh, like the little like they're like little porcelain. Ones. Isn't frogs. there a folk tale that you can't take that frog off the island or it immediately dies? Mm-hmm. Something like so that. you're lying, you fucko. Not the real fucking frog. <laughs> dipshit. He said they're made of porcelain. <laughs> they sell a lot of frog based merchandise at the airport. For them to do that. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> It's about, like, the, oh, it's wow. about the they yeah, like frogs here. Puerto Rico like souvenirs goes like anything with the Puerto Rican flag, anything with the Puerto Rican flag, and then coqui frogs. Yeah. <laughs> or even better, the coqui frog painted as the Puerto Rican flag. Crazy. Nailed it. Uh, before we go print, any further, print, make sure print. to go ahead and uh, like, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, Dylan will probably yeah, tell you the comments and stuff in, in his fashion. Yeah. Uh, nacho average. Because no. this is not your average podcast. Higher. Yes, sir. Damn straight. Elevated. It isn't. Mm-hmm. Even if it's below average, it's not average. Exactly. And that's what's important. Mm-hmm. Uh, and anyway, I think that's all the, the mumbo jumbo yeah. that I have to cut through. All that's right. about it to start. Yeah. Who's, uh, who, who's, who's going first? Mm-hmm. Who's going first? We're just looking. Uh, at, we haven't seen Joey in a yeah. while. Joey's, Joey's, Joey's been it's, been, it's been a minute since I was on the show. Um, let's see what's going on in my life. I've gotten back into working out and eating healthier so i this whole week from like monday to today which is friday i just working out different parts of my body and eating healthier and you know portioning everything so it's been doing good that listening to music uh yeah i just feel like a good sense of a lot of getting a lot of shit done that's what i feel positivity i can get with that vibe yeah hell yeah we love some good productivity clean my room the other day yeah such a rewarding experience oh yeah you know my yeah, room's still not fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> what are you missing? Wait, wait. Uh, I need to hang up some shelves and posters that I haven't put in frames yet. Okay. Those okay yeah, I mean, I, I haven't done that in a year. You haven't seen it, but we went to your house for the Friendsgiving. Your dad was cutting the posters for the frames. That's going to look fucking sick. Mm-hmm. They bought like the oh, frames right. in bulk. Oh, nice. A frame posters just look sick in general. So the fact Yeah, I mean, you... they look way better for yeah, sure. Yeah, hell yeah. The next yeah. podcast will be in my room, so you get to see it. <laughs> I'm fucking down. You can't move it. <laughs> this is a, It'd be way easier this than is a fucking flexible flying set. to Puerto Rico with two loud <laughs> microphones. <laughs> This is we, a flexible set. We did it outdoors in Puerto Rico at 1.30 in the morning. With I'm my sure camera we... one inch away from a fucking six-foot yeah. pool. Literally <laughs> on the ledge of the pool. I'm sure we could do it at Joey's house. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Word. Uh, fucking... Bro, speaking of, like, healthy, I got, like, one of those, uh, like, one-gallon um, water bottles. Nice. Ooh. I've been drinking one of those every day. Mm. It's kind of hard, Did actually. you lose weight? Uh, yeah, I did. I lost, like, five... Five, six pounds since I started that. doing that. Let's go. Water. I'm going to start yeah. doing that. I'm going to start drinking some good old water. Yeah, there's like apps Word. you have, but I just I decided to just remember. Just drink water. I drink a lot of water, but I don't keep track of it. I know. have one that has like lines on it. And it's like it, it's important it's to like keep track because you three. realize it's like, drink drinking. this. You're doing good. You're Almost not drinking there. enough. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> Every time I think of the like that, I think of the Burt Kreischer Kool Aid in, the, in yeah, the water bottle. Yeah, yeah. Fucking amazing. I drink two of these a day. <laughs> Water's important because you think straight. you're not drinking yeah. enough, but, you know. Stay hydrated, bro. Yeah, we're Foxy World. Foxy World. Hydro homie. What was I going to say about uh, hydration? What I was going to say something What a good ahead. segue. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> that speaking of hydration and not being hydrated, I, I'm sick. It fucking sucks. Nice. Oh, word. Stay uh, hydrated. But responsible Robert over here yeah. went to the doctor, took my test, negative for the C word, negative for influenza A, B, C, and N. Yeah. Didn't even know there were... Yeah. A b- bunch of those fucking <laughs> that, things. Uh, <laughs> but it was just funny because, like... <laughs> that Nigerian flu. <laughs> <laughs> I've been feeling real, like, down. And I was like, why do I feel like this? And so I went to the doctor thinking she was going to be like, oh, you have strep throat. Oh, yeah, you have a throat all infection. All the classics. She, yeah, like, yeah. looks in my mouth and she's like, you look, like, fine. Your throat looks okay. I think you just have a bad cold. And I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, I feel like shit. That's all I have. And she's like, yeah, get yeah. some Tamiflu. And yeah, I was like, been oh, a while. cool. Word. It has been. What was the last time you got a, you guys got a flu? Well, that's the thing, too, is that everyone's been wearing the masks. I yeah. feel like I haven't gotten any other illness right. because of the masks. Yeah. Because uh, I remember as a child, and I think also it might have to do with school, maybe? 
That's right. Because like in school, I would get a stomach virus every year. When was the last time you get I got a fucking stomach virus? Yeah, or, my stomach's just fucked up always yeah. now. It's mm-hmm. not. It has nothing to do with a virus. It's always like your eating habits, yeah. and then like the occasional food poisoning. Mm-hmm. Oh, the once a year food poisoning, my favorite. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I was gonna say fucking. Uh, I didn't get sick at all last year. Mm-hmm. I was t- yeah. I don't even remember the last time I had the flu like That's that. What I'm but I was telling Jerry earlier, getting sick sucks. Yeah. Like, when you're a kid, it's way better. Like, people care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can watch, like, The Price is Right. You get to eat, like, sick food. You get to stay home. Yeah, it was a vibe. Like, when you're I an think, adult, I, it's I just like... I think you're just an adult. I think that's just everything. Like, <laughs> that's just being an adult, I think. But it sucks being an adult. <laughs> when you're a kid and you get sick, it's like, like a holiday. Imagine, I just imagine sitting there as like a as like a 35 year old man. No one's feeding me, man. Like, <laughs> no one's making me soup. Yeah, man. I'm, Where's my cream cream? Fucking uh, you know what else I've been up to? I've been thinking about uh, what I'm gonna buy on Black Friday. Yo, where people, yeah, I'm you know, like, I've been thinking about like not only people asking me what I want for Christmas, but thinking about what I want to buy for people for Christmas. I have no fucking idea. Am, right. am, am I I'm on so the bad list? Buying gifts. Yeah. Am I really on the list? Nah. <laughs> Yo, I guess I'll scratch. I mean, off if Dylan anything, from I'll, number one on my list. I mean, I'll buy. It's gonna be like joystick related. It's gonna be like something mad useful. So it's not even gonna be like cool. It's gonna be like, oh, okay. Dylan buys yeah, like a, a new tablecloth or some shit yeah. like that. You wrote that'd be lit. Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta show yeah, you the, the mug I got. But what, what are you gonna? What are you thinking about your Black Friday deals? You huh? Spotted anything? What are you spotting? Nah, not yet. I have to. Well, the only thing I have like really set is that I have to buy Spider Man tickets. That's what I was going to say. Ooh, I was like, I'm going to spice Sp- Spider Monday. <laughs> Spider Yo, Monday. Yo, we going to see it together? We got to buy like three showings. <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm going Thursday night. As soon as it goes, that's how I always do it. Right, I want to join. Too. You can join, but that's when I'm going. That's right. just how it works. All right. At Cinemark? Hell yeah. At right, Cinemart's so the vibe, yeah. That's the Cinemart. vibe. Okay. I still buy in both, man. <laughs> Gotta bleep that so nobody knows where Team Joystick goes to see our movie. <laughs> Or we can. We rent the whole theater. <laughs> yeah, we right. watch our own podcast. Hey, everybody, we rent thought, out the theater thought, for you. I thought it's Dylan just was like going to say, it's just, I thought Dylan was gonna say, like, we rent the whole theater and everybody watches Spider-Man. Dylan's like, we rent the whole theater to watch ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I thought, too. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a joke. No. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd watch uh, a movie I'm waiting to see. It's the fucking the new Wes Anderson movie. The French Dispatch. Yeah, yeah. I feel bad. My dad, my dad loves Resident Evil, so he's super hyped to see this Resident the Evil Raccoon movie, City. the Raccoon City Resident Evil movie. He is so hyped. No one else is hyped to see this movie. <laughs> I saw the trailer <laughs> for the first time the other day. I was like, oh boy. My dad, he says he goes, you know, when they announced Resident Evil, the first movie, I was like, oh my god, we're gonna see Jill, the mansion, and the Resident Evil movies have nothing to do with the games. That like, he was upset yeah. with that. <laughs> He says I upset I I I hated it. So now but he's I, waiting for a good one. So he thinks this is gonna be the good one, he, and he's like, no, people are just shitting on it before it even came out. Mm. I want to watch it, and uh, he's buying tickets, and he says it's empty. The whole theater is empty for one of the the, the night that I want to go yeah. see it. As if that is gonna be the first good video game yeah. movie. That's that is, that's, that's gonna be where one. it turns that's around. Be Every really video game movie is absolute trash. Yeah. It's like just the idea of like trying to take something interactive and making it not interactive. Right. You're immediately that's what it, yeah, that's you're drawing problem. almost everyone away. Speaking of Spider Man and speaking of video game movies, I was uh, reading a pair. Uh, Tom Holland did a recent GQ interview. It's like blowing up everybody. People were talking about it, and he said that like filming Uncharted almost broke him. <laughs> Like, Mm. apparently, it was one of the most, like, strenuous things. And he brought up a great point. He's like, a lot of things people forget is, like, when you play Spider-Man, he wears a mask, and a lot of that is CGI'd and shit like that. But on this movie, he did, like, all of his own stunts, and, like, he was, like, fucking hurt every single week coming Mm. back from it. Apparently, it was, like, a super stressful film. (laughs) All right, Tom, jump off that cliff. Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) Hold R2. (laughs) Crazy. He's also now like, do it again. He was also just like talking. I feel bad for the guy because he got like I think it's don't easy. feel bad. He got Zendaya. <laughs> yeah, right. Weird. It's easier to relate with a celebrity like Tom Holland because he's our age, and also like I feel like he resonates with people our age too. Like he kind of has the same vibe, like laid back, but also kind of humble about where he comes from and shit like that. Humbly laid back. Humbly laid back. But which McCall? He uh he said that uh. Oh, he said that, like, he was doing, like, tours for Spider-Man and, like, going all over the world to do it. And he, like, backflips on command and shit like that. And he was, like, by the end of it, I was just, like, fucking tired. Like, I was, he apparently, like, he threw up at one of the events or something like that because of, like, how stressful it was. I'd be like, damn. 
This mad fucking Take vacation, stuff goes into being bro. Spider-Man. Could you imagine? Like, he's in, like, a, a random place, like the Philippines at this convention. And it's Spider-Man. Tom Holland comes out. He's tidy shakes. He does a backflip, and he lands. <laughs> 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 Projectile vomits on everybody. Yeah. All these, like, Filipino like, people are like, ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> broken. <laughs> They're playing this Spider-Man. Amazing. Oh, man. I'm so excited for that movie. Word. The trailer was hype. You think the three of them are going to be in it? I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm honestly... so I know They I gotta said, be in it, I know bro. there's that whole thing. People saw the the video that Marvel Brazil posted where, like, that the clip of Lizard getting punched by an invisible asset. Or, sure, I don't care. I'm just happy with the villains. Like, that's enough for me. The fact that they're all in it, I'm satisfied. Good movie, yeah. Satisfied. Jamie Foxx is... Do you think they're gonna, like, save his character? I did not like Jamie Foxx as Electro in Spider-Man 2. I didn't like it either, and part of me wants to say yes in the hopes that they will, but part of me wants to say no because I don't really think they're gonna dedicate that much time to each individual villain like that. Also, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be, like, variants of these villains. You know what I mean? Mm. From, like, so it's just kind of like... It's Electro, but from another dimension where kind he's of. not a fucking dork. Yeah, like, let's pick <laughs> the good one. You know what I mean? Maybe something like that. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. So cool! I haven't Spider-Man watched Shang Chi yet. You haven't? What? Don't I mean, it's on I, Disney but... Plus now. I'll watch it. Yeah, cool. that's right. You should we, do that. Let me know when we should watch it. Mm-hmm. I'm down. Right. That, that's probably the best action in a Marvel movie I've seen in mad long. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Kung Fu. I have to watch Eternals. I haven't seen that either. I feel like I'm slacking so much on watching <laughs> shit. Because you said the whole you wanted Spider Man to be your first movie back. Yeah. 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 That's why, I, that, oh, I back to what I said about my dad being hyped. He was like, yo, you want to go? And I was like, no. <laughs> I said, That's I don't, the first movie back, though. Resident I don't want, Evil, I don't want the first movie back to be Resident <laughs> I Evil. I still disagree with this bullshit, but I also feel like you're this far in that it would have. I mean, he's he's basically just finish here. It, he's you know? here right. now. He's my here. It's like No Nut November, but no go to movies. Until <laughs> yeah, word. That's what no I'm doing. No go to movie summer. <laughs> all summer long. No go long. to movie all year yeah. long. I, until I didn't go to a movie all year. Damn. I'm gonna bust. <laughs> what was the last time you went to a movie theater to see what? Before COVID, or did you go like during? I didn't say, go like, during COVID, game? so it had to have been before COVID. So any, what were the movies that came out before COVID? Damn, I can't even remember. The last movie I saw before COVID was Onward, Pixar. Uh, I did not, I did see, not see Onward. I saw it on Disney Plus. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. I, mean, I don't go to the theaters often. Maybe so. a Marvel movie. <clears throat> What was the last what one? was the last one before? Probably No Way Home. Endgame no, was no the Way last Home. one. Nah, no Way Home. No Way Home came after Endgame. It was No Way Home then. The last movie I saw was No Way Home because I was in I was in Florida. It was around Christmas time. Mm-hmm. That was the last movie I saw, No Way Home. Crazy. Before I mean, decent. before uh, before COVID, quote unquote, ended. Uh, like when quarantine ended and I went to the movie theaters a couple of times the last movie I saw in theaters was Joker damn yeah. Yeah. that's how that's how little I go to the movie theaters that was yeah I saw that that was like around Christmas that was the last I saw that movie I like saw that, that was close around that time too that could have been it for you Joey I think yeah I'm gonna check right now yeah. I remember seeing I'm Onward talking. like literally the week before mm-hmm. the, the quarantine <laughs> happened friggin uh who who's dodged the what are you up to question? Dylan, Me. Dylan's yeah. dodged it. I've just, I've just been it. fucking. No, no, he's done. No, I, I had it. not midterms, but like, if you have like three tests, it's the test before the final. Yeah, I've been having like that week because mm-hmm. we have like Wednesday. That whole week is off Wednesday right. until Monday. So, like, they've just been like punching me in the face and the throat with uh, tests. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've gotten through a lot of YouTube content like in the background. <laughs> So can we movies. just have a segment every week where Dylan just kind of gives his YouTube yeah. recommend, recommendation? <laughs> a lot YouTube, of, Dylan's YouTube recommend. Dylan, Dylan's YouTube recommendation. I made a point not to bring it up at all until we were back home safe and sound, but you know, like your air dis- air disasters shit and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch. I mean, I was watching that on the fucking plane. I'm, I'm a maniac, <laughs> figured, bro. But I was like, I'm there were maniac. times when we were in Puerto Rico that like I wanted to mention it, like just in talking with you oh, and but my that, dad. That's a jinx. But then in the back that's of my head, I'm like, no, 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 no. Fucking wait till you're Jinx. home until Dylan's home, and then you fucking bring that <laughs> shit up. Yeah, I can talk. I can fucking talk about that. Yeah. So, um, in Puerto Rico, your you and your family left before me. 
Yeah, we did. So I had a, a little uh, five-hour adventure in San Juan by myself. Can we talk about nice. the Chicago? Uh, <laughs> <We did. laughs> yeah. So um, so both Bobby's dad. We have to and, explain the Chicago yeah. first, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so my dad. Uh, so, so we had a great vacation yeah, with my so, dad. So let's just say there's many things in the vacation podcast. First off, we did the vacation podcast super tired. Yeah. So there was a bunch of stories, a bunch of things that we did. Not only were illegal, but also uh, just we never mentioned it because they were just like little stories here and mm-hmm. there. But uh, we had an amazing time. Hell yeah. Yeah. But fucking my dad was telling us about this thing that he used to do with his friends back in, their, back in their stoner days yeah. where he was like, he was like, if you boys ever Chicago'd and me and Dylan are like, what the fuck is that? He's like, you never done a Chicago. And we're like, we obviously don't know what the yeah. fuck you're talking about. I'm so around, I'm, my, my interest is already peaked. So though. apparently what a Chicago is, is you get together and he, he does this whole explanation process where he's like, if it's two of you, it's this and that. And if it's four of you, it's this and yeah, that. So the point role. is, is however many of you are that it is like it's, if it were the four of us, you roll five joints or five blunts and you pass them amongst the four until all of them are out and that's what a chicago is so we hear that we're like fuck no like that's crazy (laughs) but then we went to the airport before we left and my dad and i both had pens Mm -hmm. we both had like our our, our weed pens but they had like a really little bit left so what did we do joe so uh (laughs) we're we are in the the parking garage of the airport next to like where you leave the car rentals and we are just going in this a uh, circle, handing around the pens, just hitting them until they're empty. Bro, this shit got so hot. We literally smoked like a fucking eighth of this oil in like two minutes because yeah. we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, one of the pens still had stuff in it. Thank yeah, you. and then we gave it to you yeah. to fucking to hang out in Puerto Rico yeah. with. So, uh, yeah. So when I left the, the fucking airport, I went and I did a uh, tour of. There's like two museums downtown. Which ones did in you go Puerto, to? It's uh, this one that's just like art of Puerto Rico, uh-huh. and there's another one that's like contemporary art. And uh, yeah, that was good. A lot of cool art. I was mad high too, and I remember I had your dad's pen, and I took. A, I was in a park, and I took an additional like seven hits. It had that many left. Yeah. Wow. Because <laughs> it was like broken. So we're not was, even like, bullshitting. Like we literally like what we just said we did, we did, and this guy still had yeah. that much I left. I'm still doing it. Yeah, and then I threw it out, so now I'm high. So I don't even remember the artwork. <laughs> I remember my tour guide's name was Kermy. Kermy. Yeah, and I was like, that's a horrible fucking name. Damn. Um, Sounds like Miss Piggy. Yeah, so after the museums, I uh, just rented one of like the bird scooters. And then I just went down to like old San Juan and like oh, looked at like all the old shit because I like you. I didn't want to like go, I didn't like want to like go on a tour or anything like you're that. Fucking tourist, I, Dylan. Yeah. I don't know why, but I see you in a skirt when you're doing this. <laughs> 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 it's like this. Like you're still masculine, <laughs> but, but you're just wearing a skirt for some reason. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still a guy. What? I'm a guy in a skirt bro, in Puerto that's a, Rico. That's a metrosexual, bro. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, yeah, and then you know San Juan's cool. I mean Puerto Rico has like a, so much like potential. I think because you could tell that like at one point it was really hype and exciting. Hustling and bustling. Yeah, it was like a really bustling place. And now it's. Not, I mean, you go there. There's like no one there. Yeah, like I, where I like I know like where I was. In did terms you go post COVID? I didn't. I yes. went post Maria. No, the, bro. There's like they can't even get workers anywhere. No, everything's closed. Down. Everything closes uh, at like 9 p.m. Yeah. But um, I mean, also I guess it like I'm sure like in, in San Juan, I'm sure there's like, oh, it's some better in San Juan yeah. because but it's, uh, yeah, but even then when I was there, I know I was the museums were like, kind of more in like the inner city area, but I was just like around on my scooter and like I didn't see anybody, mm-hmm. and I was like, this is like I didn't feel like you know like you know like I was gonna get mugged or anything, but I was like, this is weird, you know, mm-hmm. you expect to see a lot more tourists, and then when I went by the beach area and there's like an overpass going to, into old San Juan. And even then, there was, like, maybe, like, a few dozen people on the beach. Yeah. And it was, like, Coronado, like, one of, like, the main areas. And I'm like, that's... I know it's, like, a Sunday, but, like, you think there'd be... Yeah, more people. You'd be people there. Damn. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Code fucked it up. I like that more, though, technically speaking. It, yeah, it gives it's, you... It's more relaxed. It's like, oh, exactly. it's peaceful. It's yeah. not... It's not, uh, like, it's it's not just, touristy. It's... Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's mm-hmm. true. I guess. Also, when I was... I, uh, I There was, like, a three-block area that I was riding my scooter in that wasn't good. Like, it wasn't, like, a nice area. And there was just, like, human shit on the floor. And I was like, wow. nice. Great. So you can identify yeah. that. Like, that's human shit. That's human shit. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> I know my shit. <laughs> and that's <laughs> human, that's human shit. Human shit. <laughs> Sam, I kind of I want to bring up some uh, 
some some drama that's been a brewing here. Ooh. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm gonna roll the dice yeah. and hope that my neighbors never watch this podcast. Luck <laughs> feeling, but let's get in. Yo, it. before you get into the drama, when I came, Blisky your father opened it. the door. He was like, "I thought you were my neighbor. I'm gonna fuck him up." <laughs> <laughs> Great way to intro this. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know some of the beef already. He's like, so look. This isn't with this neighbor. This yeah. is with our, our the neighbors across the driveway. Right. I'm gonna say this completely unbiased, just the facts on both ends. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, which the right? Wait, which the across right? the them? Okay. okay, yeah. No bias, just the, everything that's happened. Right. So long story short, you guys know we used to have two cars, uh-huh. and then the cars exploded when a drunk driver went down our block like three, four months ago. Yes. Uh, and ever since then, we have one car now. When we had the two cars, we used to keep the space in front of our house, which fits two cars, so that whenever, like, dad came back from work, he could park behind and we would keep the spaces. But we never blocked the driveway. Now that we have one car, our neighbors who have three cars not only park in front of their house, but then also block the driveway or park in the driveway. Mm -hmm. And we try not to say anything about it because we understand that we did it for a very long time, and it's very rare that it affects us. So we're just like, whatever, we leave it be. Um, so then what happened was kind of unrelated, but technically related a a third party car decided to park their car in front of their house and left it there for like two months. They didn't even move it. And it it pissed the guy off naturally, but everybody on the block, keep in mind, it's not just us who has problems with this. They're the neighbors to the left of them. I've seen him argue with neighbors to across of them. They hate that they, they hog all their cars in that one spot. They've even tried to put cones there. To stop people from yeah, I, I remember I coming that. one day to see cones and your yeah. father was like, you can't put that shit there. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And we were literally moving. So, so <clears throat> we've had conversations with him before. He basically, his whole spiel is he's like, we're taxpayers. Da, da, da. And it's like, bro, everybody on this fucking block We're pays also taxpayers. Taxes. Everybody on this block knows what it feels like to come home late at night and have to go find parking three, four, it five. Fucking sucks. Parking's, parking's exactly. a bitch. Parking's you, getting worse. Not to also, not to be a dick, but you know the parking situation when you buy or rent the house. Exactly. When you move into a neighborhood you know exactly what the parking looks like here it's like not you even know where, what neighborhood you live in like it's Je- simple if you want parking go to an area where there's parking simple where, as that. Right. honestly so long story short uh that guy left his car there for like two months and then th- the other night we went to a bunch of nets games i guess we could talk about that later oh yeah yeah that was fun but was- on friday we came back from a nets game that my dad and i went to and we parked the car in front of the uh we well the there was a spot uh, like what I what I'm trying to say is there was a guy parked in front of our house so we just parked the car blocking the driveway and then mm-hmm. we went inside. Apparently at about three in the morning, <laughs> and the only reason I I kind of got like swung into it is we got a group text. It was sent to my dad and it was sent to me because I think the neighbor didn't know which Bobby he was texting so he like put both of us in, in for for a good measure. It was like this whole. Try not to be biased, but this whole like whiny paragraph, and they're they're Asian, so it's a bit broken English. Where yeah. he's basically like, "It's really unfair that you would do this. You need to respect your neighbor's wishes because we do nice things for you." Da 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 da. And then they, he basically said like he came home at three in the morning and he was looking for parking for over an hour and had to sleep in his car. And we were like, first of all, you're texting us at three in the morning. You know we don't ever do that to you. Mm-hmm. Secondly, this guy doesn't want to park his car outside because it has tools in it so he's like i don't want to park it too far from the house you know what i mean so that's why he's in your trunk i don't know i don't know i don't know but that's that's the reasoning that's his his reason blah 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 that's got some issues then we found out today that the person who's been complaining is the neighbor's brother who lives there and the neighbor's actually like out of state but then the neighbor messaged back with like this whole spiel where he was like uh, I'm sorry that I'm not there to like you know be the intermediate because he speaks less English whatever. But then he even brought it up. He's like, "But you guys are unfair." Da, 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 da. And my parents just let them have it. Like they were just like, "Okay, listen." And my dad, my favorite thing was my dad called him young man, and I was like, "My dad's old enough to, <laughs> to pull that fucking car now." I was like, "You go, Grandpa Rob." That shit was yeah, hype. He was like, man. "You listen here, young man." I was like, "Oh." But then he went on to fucking, yeah, then he went on to basically be like, (laughs) we don't fucking bother you at three in the morning with this shit. If you just have to find parking, there's been many a time, like I said earlier, there's been many a times that we've had to park. We don't sleep in our cars, but we walk back eight blocks back and we leave our shit there. That's just how it works. There's people who park their their cars in front of houses and their shit gets robbed. And that's just bad luck. They don't have fucking tools in their cars. They take like a fucking radio. And it's already shitty that your, your, your house is getting blocked too. 
yeah, people parking word. in front of your house. It's like, well, now you have to change your spot. Exactly. And that throws everyone off. It was horrible yesterday. Just yesterday night, uh, we came back from one of my sister's shows, and we were looking for parking that, uh, for some reason, like, they blocked off both sides of the street, but we didn't know what the hell was going on. My mother was like, oh, maybe they're making a movie or something, but it was like way too much street that we were like, where do they expect all of us to go? And we were driving and driving and driving that my mom said, fuck it. I, we have in the car the plaque that says that we work for the school. We parked at the school where I work and then took an Uber back home. Just so we didn't That's have to park in anywhere. That's crazy. crazy. That's wild. We've never done that but before. You see but the, you see, you did that instead of calling somebody to complain. <laughs> at three in the morning. Word. Exactly. Like, just take an Uber. It's not that It's not that big of a deal. Or sleep in your car. Like, I, I even thought, like, if I want, because, like, I'm, I'm learning to drive. And when I get my license, I'm expected to come home at, like, one or two in the morning, three in the morning. Like... It's not gonna be fun, I'm and it's you know, no. I'm sure hard. it's not gonna be fun. Especially, but if I you can't are. find parking, I think I'm just gonna sleep in my car, and I could sleep anywhere. I'll be like, all right, <clears throat> that is true. Joey yeah. would have no right. problem with. I'll <laughs> sleep in my car like a fucking baby. I wouldn't. Uh, Joey I wouldn't sleep recommend in the street it. like a baby. So Word. I, could, I, I, I believe. Tune in for the so. next podcast of you watching me make it out in the streets yeah. of New York <laughs> sleeping. Before, so is, here's here's Joey sleeping in a gutter. <laughs> Before we divert from this topic randomly, remember Jack from Achievement Hunter? Yes. Did you hear the whole story about how he has like a DUI? Yeah. But like he has a DUI, but it's because he was drunk, so he slept in his car. Right. But technically, they he wasn't were, driving. He wasn't driving. He was just sleeping. If but the keys are in it or something. Like yeah, that. something like that. He it was like a technicality, but yeah. he still got like arrested and all that shit. That sucks. It does suck. If the keys are in the so car, so be careful while when you're sleeping drunk. on the. If you're drunk, don't put the keys in. Don't put the keys in the yeah. car. Just, die just have heat. it in my pocket. <laughs> just go in the back back seat. Yeah. Fucking. If they can't find you the, did the keys, the responsible you're good. thing. Well, if they can't find the keys, yeah. So you need to hide the keys too. Yeah. That's they can't. That's the. That's the. That's the, that's the problem. I think. That, <laughs> How do they know it's my car? <laughs> you're in it. <laughs> but then it's like, all right, then start they just, your they car. Just get them for theft. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you get the car. Keys. car you're where's your Where's your keys? <laughs> I don't have them. You're How'd under- you get in your car? This um, is my car. You're under arrest. Stole it. Unlock the door. I don't have my keys. <laughs> 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 I don't have my keys. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that's when you pull out the Uno reverse card. Like I think you won't get in trouble if the keys are like nowhere. To Wasn't be there a guy that died in Wendy's because of this shit? What? He was sleeping in his car. He was one of the the black men that oh, died during like, like the that. Black Lives Matter protest. He was just chilling in front of a Wendy's, and then cops were like, "What are you doing?" And the long story short, like he might he winded up being dead, and he killed or choked or something. You know, oh, cops I, cops be like that. Cops do be like that. Thank you for that really descriptive article you just presented. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining that, like, Wall Street Journal. Fucking Joseph Ortega. <laughs> Joseph Ortega. And this guy, fucking, he's on a fucking Wendy's, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the written word is the sentence and then a hyphen. I want yeah. that. I yeah. want that. Like, a bunch of, like, I want, I want that. A bunch of hood New Yorkers explain international geopolitics. <laughs> word. All right, That'd so check funny. this shit out. Joe, check this out. Southeast Asia Seaman fucking popping out there. He's fucking violating these little fucks over here. <laughs> And then Kim Jong Un was like dead ass, dead ass, <laughs> fast. Yeah, you heard Russia shot a missile, bro. <laughs> that shit was <laughs> wild, B. That shit was like bow. Like... Russia, man. Russia, man. Russia, Bad. China. Want to go to Russia, guys? Uh, I low key kind of would. I would, yeah. Go to St. Petersburg. Yeah, go to like a go Can to like. I'd want to go to like place. Can we go to a places? warm place? I'm down with that. I actually want to go to DR. <laughs> I've never been to. Bro, no, I know I've been to DR, but I want to go to like. Take take me around to DR, Jerry. No, no. <laughs> I, I would, I'd be like, nah. I'm just chilling at the resort. <laughs> Good luck with that. Word. Bring back some platanos. Word. I was there was this one time so if we're on DR. Um, I had a a friend who was getting married, and then literally like a week before the mar- uh, the the wedding, the the groom was just dipped. Damn. Everything was already paid for though. Like oh. literally, it was a week before the wedding, so the the resort was paid. All the th- activities for them and the guests was paid everything was paid and um luckily the my friend was like you know what fuck it we already paid for this we're just gonna chill out there and uh at the resort i remember walking around and then all of a sudden all the lights went off like boom and i was like oh shit like what the i thought we were like getting fucking attacked by someone mm-hmm. shit was scary as fuck <laughs> captain phillips shit word i was just walking around and then everyone's like screaming oh, no, no, turn on the lights and i'm like Okay, just get to my room, find my room, 
And then the lights went back on, and they were like, oh, yeah, that happens all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Like blur rolling blackout. Mm. That happened to my mom. My mom was uh, engaged to a guy be- before my dad, and he, like, stood her up right before the wedding. Wow. Mm-hmm. Crazy, right? What? It's like one of those things I can't even get mad at, though, because then I wouldn't be Because then you wouldn't be born. You know what I mean? So it's There's like, a multiverse where you're not born. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you're. it's it's not Bobby. Well, you know how does that mean? work? Am I in my dad first or am I my mom first? Well, no, you're, you're in your dad first. I, I would say you, yeah. Robert Rosario, are more like your father. So I was in my dad's, you know, two-bedroom yeah. two apartment. Yeah. I was, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, one yeah, of yeah, these yeah. guys. <laughs> not not, not back then. You were right moment. There was the right time. There was like 100 million other of you. So my mom's egg has nothing to do do with me of course it does you see this is what i'm asking you have half. Bye, did you not take biology bobby well, you, you know i didn't take biology. No, did. i remember you took it in college and you learned you were like oh genetics recessive g- genes i took it in college and they told me that we weren't even gonna fucking meet in person and then i failed i oh. failed biology <laughs> got like a 40 on the fucking final oh damn yeah you like that sometimes like you know that. what i'm saying but long That's story short oh, yeah, what this... i'm asking is you know like okay <laughs> insemination all right it's gonna be fucking mad weird but i need so the you birds to... and the bees shut up joey <laughs> so Dylan, I I need you to look me in my eyes right now, and I need you to promise me that you're not going to make fun of me. You're okay. just going to listen need, to what I, I need, have to I need say. Jerry's help with this. I might not know the exact okay. answer. But don't laugh at me. Okay. okay. Yes. You know, Family Guy? Yeah. When Stewie's in the little ship yeah. that looks like the sperm? Yes. That's what I'm envisioning. So yes. I'm envisioning I'm one of those little sperm that, when you no. That flies into the egg. Okay. And then there's... But am I the sperm? You are also the egg. I'm also the egg. Yeah. You're, you're, you're the you're... egg once you hit the egg. No, your egg before you hit the egg also. Yeah. So okay, so ma- let's think about it like this. Maybe there's two separate me's, right? One is piloting the ship, and one is docking the ship. Yeah. Right? Yes. <laughs> He's waving it. it yeah. But, it's, but it's me. It's both me. Yeah, yeah, it's right? both, both you. Like with a beard and everything. Yeah. 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 And He's then like, finally, when it meets. The two it of us just like, and, yeah. then just and then there you're a little bean, and then you turn into a larger bean, and then you're a human. I'm Except glad we figured that out. The one that's waving out. is not only waving to you; it's just kind of waving to all of them. Yeah, it's like, hey, come on down. Yeah. One of you will get me. The one that's waving is, wants to, the... to be a girl, <laughs> but the one the... that's swimming is the boy. <laughs> Stick around for the next week. Academy. <laughs> next week. <laughs> We're Next week now. we're gonna go, we're gonna go into more plant life. We're gonna learn <laughs> photosynthesis. <laughs> Next time we'll have the traffic wavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have all the props to explain we're, sex. The body. We'll teach we'll teach science to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send this to Rigo and see what he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Our scientist friend who's like actually a scientist. Where when Rigo says he's a scientist, I'm picturing him like like Professor Utonium with like a coat like in a lab. <laughs> Making shit that's like Most bubbling and shaking. And his like, oh his face God. turns like totally black. Like yeah, he like removes the goggles and you see his clear face. Oh. Like that's what a scientist does. That's for what work. he does. Yeah. Like that's their job. What does your job consist of? Well, I go to work and I mix colorful fluids and beakers and yeah. blow up until they blow up, <laughs> but just enough so that it chars my face and spikes up my hair. But I don't have any serious injury and I'm perfectly you capable no of trying again. Yeah, that's science. Happens for you. every day. And I get paid. They go to like the scientist luncheon and one guy is like, remember that time Phil drank that shit and turned into a monster? (laughs) (laughs) It's a classic Friday night over here, Bill. Oh my god. Real scientist is just the guy on a computer. It looks like what Jerry does. Yeah, it's yeah, just the yeah. guy on a fucking computer. It's just different. It's just the guy reading books or something. Yeah, some it's shit. just literally fit. Okay. Books are proving things right. right? 80.58. This is the guy fucking doing that shit. It's mad boring. <laughs> I mean, research. <laughs> research. The stupidest work. science conversation we've ever had. <laughs> Pretty good science conversation. Yeah. This is a great. I'm just science. imagining in Joey's head nothing though. To do with science. No, I'm just imagining that's every job to Joey though. Like a construction worker is building the same at one <laughs> house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time another house. <laughs> It's like, it's like the stereotypical yeah, yeah, yeah. thing it's for like, every Is there job. like a construction or it's like they're only on the one beam, like the steel beam? The in steel the sky. beam, they're all eating lunch. Time to eat a sandwich. <laughs> He's like working on a two story building, but he takes the crane up. <laughs> <laughs> they can't call they it. They can't call it. Oh my From god. Two, oh, jeez. Hey. Oh. Hey, whoa. oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, stereotypical jobs. Joey watches a lot of cartoons. I Joey do. does watch a lot I of cartoons. I do, man. It's crazy. Joey came over yesterday. We were watching uh, like old school PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 video game intros. Back when games had intros. Mm. Fucking yeah, the dope. whole cutscene. Yeah. 
you ever played the ones where it like seamlessly transitioned into the the screen that says like new game continue Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, I know exactly what he's talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what he's talking about, but I don't think I've seen that. That's Uh, wild. Or they say like press start or whatever. Or like I've seen that on modern games. Like you see on like Last of Us and shit like that, where it'll be like a calm thing and it'll like fade in. It'll be like God of War Mm. game, some shit like that. Well, I know exactly the type of thing Jerry's talking about. The only I I I know it happened a lot in older games, but like Immortal Redneck. I don't know if you've played that game. What? Immortal Redneck. It's like a it's like a roguelike. Okay. You you know Tower of Guns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. Okay, okay. And uh that game has that where it's like it shows you like the the world or whatever and then it just goes and it's like new game and then mm-hmm. it, you can like click and start. You know what's funny? As you guys were talking about that, it totally just jumped into my head. The Sly Cooper games all start like start like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It always starts as the cutscenes climbing the building and then it shows them Sly and then the things come in and it's like start game, new game. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That. That's sick. Those are sick. But even then, like, I, we were looking at, like, PS1 games, and I was like, damn, like, it, it, it's something you don't see anymore, but, like, the game intros were so cool, because it was, like, almost a mini trailer for what you were about to play. It was, they like, were. they put on a sick song and, like, a montage of the levels, and it's like, yo, this, this is a game I'm about to play right now. Yeah, I mean, like, as a child, you're so hype, yeah. Even Joey like, was showing me, like, the Madden 2002 intro, and even that was, like, like I want to oh, go Oh, the sports games were the best. Bro, yeah, I, I want to go I, fucking play some sports I kind of wish games. Dylan was there, because I never play a lot of sports games. I, f- I found them boring, but I had, I think my father bought it. It was, like, NFL 2002, mm-hmm. and it had an intro, and they made a rap song and everything for it. So like, young Joey like knew the song and is rapping like it's 2002, like everything. Does old Joey mm-hmm. know the song? Uh, kind of. I no, wish. you know the song. <laughs> I just know the ending. <laughs> Joey knows the song. No, I, I don't. I feel like they that's used not my to slam have them because there was no trailers back then because we didn't have like YouTube. Yeah, we didn't have like a thing, so they just kind of put the trailer in the beginning of the game. It was like let someone see this. We yeah. started watching it because shout outs to Melee, twenty years old today. Woo-woo. That one was good, but no, I was showing like Joey yesterday, like when they showed the melee trailer at E3 yeah, 2000, that was and everybody's heads like fucking exploded. They were like, "Oh my god!" But it's because like nobody had fucking YouTube back then. You had yeah. to go to this press conference in California to fucking see this shit. Wild. I, I told Bob, it's like I growing up, you saw that intro so many times. It was kind of bugged out to see like people maybe around our age seeing it for the first time. Yeah. You're getting and excited. Being like, it. holy sh- Kirby! Zelda! <laughs> Samus! Samus is in Oh my fucking. Ridley's gonna be in the game! <laughs> Damn, I'm just thinking about old sports games now. Damn. <laughs> Street Yo, 2. Where you had the, the, the cheating cards. Yeah. Oh. You got God. one, they made like the, the field goal thing like super small. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Big what? heads. Big head mode. Yeah. yeah. Blitz, played- and, Blitz and Slugfest were the two best games. Yeah. yeah. I played Backyard I played Football. Backyard football, backyard football was backyard good. Football All the Backyard was games were good. What sports games did I play? And besides Tony Hawk, All I played Street, Street 2. Street. Street I played Street. I you played, played uh, SSX. On, like, SSX, all those. SSX yeah. is tricky. Mm-hmm. All that good stuff. Mm-hmm. I played... Uh, I used to have a demo for one of those on the Pizza Hut demo disc. You That's ever played crazy. Ready to Rumble? It's like the PS1 boxing game. Yeah. yeah. I know of it. Yeah. I used to play that one a lot. I know of the game, but I never it's played it. It's EA, right? Huh? Yeah. Is it EA? It might be. It had the Afro guy. It's a really old game. It's in the game. I think I think it might be yeah. It was like one of the early ones. Used to have a taunt. You go, I can't go on. But like oh, those old sports games <laughs> were like the PS PS two sports games went in. Like they were like the most yeah. like they nowadays they can't Midway. even recreate. Oh, Ooh. it's true. Like they can't even recreate that. Like I remember, um, in the two K when they made all the sports games, they had NFL two K, and I remember you would have a house. This like guy. in the in the story mode, you would have a house. And, like, your trophies would be everywhere. You could play, like, mini games in the house. Mm-hmm. You had an arcade machine that played, like, NBA Jam in your house. Damn, that's crazy. And it was, like, all built in. It was, like, 2004 to 2005. Like, nowadays, a game doesn't even have that. It's, You'd like, have the to, same shit as the last you would have year. To play, you would have to play The Sims to, like, do shit like that. Yeah. Damn, this is a throwback. This was a throwback. I the, A boxing game I played was Rocky for the GameCube. You guys remember Demo Discs? Yeah. I've only hype. had one demo disc I in my life. Couple. Those were hype. You know Those were weird. Dope. I still remember like all the games on the demo disc because I played like all of them. I remember I had a demo disc that had Blasto. It had Spyro Two, Ripto's Rage. It had a game called Jersey Devil. I know about Jersey Devil. Yeah. yeah. I, I had another oh, one that had. I had another, one that had, uh, I had another one that had one of the first uh, Gran Turismo's for the PS One. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to Google mine, man. 
You probably find disc. it because it was a Pizza Hut one. I'm sure it's like documented. I'm about to Google it. Pizza Hut demo disc. Yeah, but there was a few of them. There was like a red one. Yeah, there was four. I think wasn't there? Yo, was Pizza Hut. I had demos. one from a from a restaurant too. I just don't remember which one it was. Did I you guys ever play the? Part. Did you guys ever play the Xbox Burger King games? Uh, nah. No. Sneak King. Oh, and... those were so good, bro. Were they? I thought they were I, bad. I liked them. They were good. There was one that was like Mario Kart. Yeah. And everyone was on motorcycles. And then Sneak King was like a stealth hiding game. Any of these ring a bell? It was kind of like Hitman, but like slower, and you had to like chase people. This one, I think. I never. You know what's the funny part about it? Was this one the funny That's part the about one, this? Isn't it Spyro? Spyro, Spyro Two, Tomb Raider, maybe? Is this Spyro Two? Rip those rage. That's a different one. I had a uh, demo uh, disc. It might be from Pizza Hut Two, if anything. One. It looked like that. Place. But it was Spyro, and he was on a skateboard. And That's I, I Spyro Three. Okay. I was playing the shit out of that demo. Spyro on a skateboard was the dope. one that I had. I think it had tr- uh, SSX on it. Yo, this is a great conversation we're having right now. It is. <laughs> oh, I had this one. Damn, man. That, one. that looks familiar. I had that one and the green one. There was a green one with the same kind of thing. I low-key miss game demos. I feel like they should bring them back just so people could be that like, these are throwback. Throwback. That's a throwback. I think I had that one. This one and this one, I think I had the green and the blue one. Yeah, man. That's how I played a bunch of those games. And then I remember being like, all right, that's the one I want. Even P- I remember Man. downloading a bunch of demos on PS3. Like PS3 games had demos, and I would download them and play them. And yeah. you learn you learn what you like and stuff. <laughs> I know. Oh, there'd be a game that you thought would be mad hype, and you download the demo, and it's absolute ass. And yeah, you're but like, rather that God. than know that you don't want to. Then buy I flip it. a switch and yeah, fluffy. <laughs> no, it's a dark. It's a dark era for gaming. I think that was gaming the one I had. Sucks now. It's a dark era for gaming. If you're not in the gaming community, if you don't play video games, it's a you're fucking... You're not missing anything. You're not missing anything. Yeah. You know, it's it was, it's was it been a whole year since the PS5 came out, and there's been nothing, like, noteworthy, really. Yeah, bro, it's Cyberpunk? It's a free game every month. Yeah, it's that's a free game. Not, exactly. That sucks. Who has the ginger ale? I don't know. It, I feel like Cyberpunk was the the It was spiral. supposed to be the thing. Cyberpunk was the downward spiral to this era right, that we had. But you had. know what's out now? But the only thing is not on a PlayStation consoles is Halo. Halo Infinite. Halo's doing pretty Get good. Get yourself I heard. a PC. Get yourself an Xbox. Play some Halo. I just watched Donkey's video of Get Battlefield. Get yourself an Xbox. The blasphemous. <laughs> the blasphemy out of Jersey. Word. Okay. Say sorry to the Bobby's letter. The Bobby the letters. Buy a PC. <laughs> Make an Xbox Live account. That's better. Okay, <laughs> that works. <laughs> Uh no, what what was I saying? Shit. What were you saying? What were you saying? Dude? Cyberpunk was bad. Battlefield 77 2077 was mm-hmm. bad. It was glitchy as hell. I saw the video. Uh GTA uh the, the remake the remake trilogy. of the GTA the trilogies. I heard they were kind of glitchy. That's yeah. glitchy as fuck too. Uh Deathloop wasn't that amazing. That came out glitchy too. Like everything's coming I out think, glitchy. Like what the fuck? Yeah, and, I mean, and you want us to spend 60? And even then, it's like none of these games are like, they're not even worth 60 as they are. That's Word. Even if they were like a fully complete game that worked well, it's still not worth 60. Not to me. Right? Not to, and it's 70 now. It's PS5 games. They're yeah, 70. Exactly. They're not even 60. They're $70. That's the problem now. All the free games are coming out and they're like better. Yeah. Returnal Every fr- was full price, yeah. right? Uh-huh. Returnal was full price. Returnal right? was full price. I remember, I remember when like main, like AAA gaming died for me when like, I remember from 2014 to 2017, every single game I thought was like game of the year was a game I got for free. It was either a PS Plus game or it was a free to play game. And those were my favorite games. And I'm like, why do I fucking buy games? What do you think is going to be game of the year this year? Bro. Returnal? Nah, there's got to be something better than Returnal. Uh, GTA 5. <laughs> <laughs> for the eighth time. Think about it. I don't know, man. No, like, it it wasn't an impressive year. It would have to be like a free to play indie game or something. Apex. It would have to be an indie game again. <laughs> like I don't know. Hmm. Village. Village. Is oh, right, right there. There. Ratchet and Clank. I don't think that's enough, though. It's not. A, it's definitely it not. Takes Looking two, at this, it takes two. Dread. It takes two is literally the best. No, game. no, no. Me and Bobby liked it. Takes two. Back for blood. That's Back what for we're saying. It's the best one. Guardians Halo. was it's fun. Be Halo. It might be Halo, uh, but it's really far into the year. Yeah, I don't know. you're right. Yeah, this is. I'm not gonna lie. This is really fucking sad. This is depressing. This is a horrible MLB era. The show game of the year. <laughs> My friends, what is what is this? Yeah, this is why I'm not a gamer. I'm not a gamer. Shut up, Dylan. 
You're on PlayStation every single night. I'm a gamer. But I'm not a gamer. <laughs> no, I'm on PlayStation literally all. I'm no, I'm not on PlayStation all night. I'm literally on PlayStation 24/7. Because what I do it is sits in menus. Because sits in menus. I, right. No, because that's what I do. Because it's like even if I'm playing, I'm like simming 90% of the season, and then if I have to do homework, I just shut my monitor off, other monitor. Do homework for a couple of hours right, and then come, just back. come back. Yeah, and it's like oh, but then I, don't not, you worry that that el- wastes electricity? It's just power that's just on. I feel yeah, annoying sometimes, mode. like because that's true. Like some people have like the friend notification on, and I feel like I like put my thing on rest mode and I turn it on like all the time. It's just like Jerry's online. Jerry's online. Jerry's, Jerry's online. online. Same here. So I'm like, all right, let me just pick one. <clears throat> Is he jamming in or no? Nah. Not yet. PlayStation. I was trying to have a. I was trying to have a short one, maybe. Oh no, I have more stuff to talk about. Yeah. I was just waiting to see. Yeah, the fucking Nets game. No, I was even. Well, we could bring that yeah. up. I was bring it up. Going to, I went to. Bro, I didn't therapy. realize how steep those seats were. Steep. Oh yeah. They're, oh, they're fucking. I didn't even know I you guys think somebody's gonna fucking fall. Yeah. And die. Yeah. Like sorry, you weren't invited. Super, like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, that's not. Dylan's very harsh. What happened was when I, we were buying the tickets, I brought it up, and Jerry was the only one that was like, "I'm down to watch live sports." So my dad, depending on the games, got like tickets in bulk. So we got yeah. four tickets, and the tickets that we got were supposed to be for me, my dad, my uncle Mario, and he bought a fourth. And he was like, "Let one of the guys know that they can come." So the first person I offered to was Jerry because he said it. He was mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, for sure." But then I mentioned it to Dylan, and what happened was we bought Dylan a fifth ticket. But it was like in the same row, but not sitting with us. Uh-huh. And then what happened is that ticket got fucked up, and then it ended up that he was like a row under us, mad far. Uh, so and then my uncle Mary couldn't come, so we just gave him the other fucking fourth ticket. Nice, wow. nice. Glad I could be together. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> for sure. I mean, no. we still went with Mary on Friday to see the. Where? We saw them play the Magic, which was a scarily close game. <laughs> it was. We were mad up high difference. there, and like it was still like pretty packed. Yeah. For sure. I never was a sports person. My father didn't care for sports, so I just kind of grew up not really caring. For I mean, sports. We, we were I watched either. the big events like like boxing matches and uh, Super Bowls and shit. Live sports are fun though. Live sports are fun. I used to. I went to like a couple get baseball games it. when I was. Yeah, little, I don't even think you really have to be a sports fan to have fun of those things. Yeah, I mean, just look at all the drunk girls at <laughs> like the fucking Barclays Center. Yeah, that we're we're like on. Yeah, honestly, women love sporting events. Bro, there was like three different sets of girls like right next to me the whole fucking time. I swear. My dad and I were leaving the Barclays Center on Tuesday after we watched Steph Curry destroy us. And we were leaving, and a woman with her boyfriend and a group of friends was just like, I'd let Steph Curry eat my asshole. <laughs> and, and, like, her boyfriend was like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. like what the fuck is this? That's, that's like, a good boyfriend right there. Yeah. He's supporting. Yeah. I want to go right. see hockey with you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's because, like, Bobby, too. we were, I was hanging out with Bob, and they were talking about hockey, and I was like, I've never seen a hockey game. And he was yeah. like, Dylan we, wanted to. The arena just opened, like, today. So. The Islanders. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go see a hockey game. Yeah, Ooh, I'll that. look on my phone after the. After the podcast, let's do it. I, go, I have, go, I have some tickets that are literally like one away from the glass I bought. Oh last wow! Last week, so I could see the because they're cheap. Because uh, like certain games in like January, they're like seventy, sixty dollars, mm-hmm. and you're right, you're like right there. Because yeah. p- people like watching hockey from higher up because it like it looks better. Yeah, I could get that. Yeah. Not 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 uh, like nosebleeds, but like high on the first section or first row, second section. Mm-hmm. Those seats are not more money, but they're like just as pricey as like close up. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Interesting. And it's like same thing with like uh like American football. The the oh, sides is not a lot of money. Um not these sides, but the other side the sidelines are a lot more money because you can see the whole game. And right. if you're all the way in the corner you can't you see you can see only see one game. side. Oh, okay. Do you uh do you know anything about like how like stadiums transfer from like hardwood floors for like basketball into like ice floors for hockey rinks and shit like that? They like, push a button and the whole thing flips. Mm-hmm. I've I always thought about surprised. that. Like, the no, but it's it's, it's very so seamless. Stuff, right? It's very seamless. It's like it, it you watch them do it and it's like it looks nice. I want to see that. Yeah, I mean, there's there's like time lapse videos. I never like I never get that. Like, like MS MSG is weirder because they have like different sections. Mm-hmm. Right. So like MSG, it's so spacious that they can just kind of like run both mm-hmm. and kind of like use the whole space. Base. One that's really interesting is when they do the football baseball because that just looks wild in the same space. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, for Whoa. for like ten years, Oakland, the Oakland Raiders and the Oakland Athletics played in the same stadium. What the hell? And for most of the months, it's not a problem, right? Because how the, do they do that? Because like, they don't play. Well, they share. Well, because the base but a football stadium is like a large rectangle. Yeah, yes. so they just like the st- all the stands are movable. Basically, oh, so, like, oh. yeah. We're just take these. 
Immovable Ruby. And, and so it looks super weird because it's so like the dumb. 40 yard line and you see a baseball diamond. Yeah, yeah. Like it looks super, it's like, why is there a weird. baseball diamond strange. in there? And if you're running, that must be weird if it's like grass or it's turf. Like slinky, and then just, they pull it back. Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. I was going to say something too about uh, the sports stuff. Basketball, yeah. golf, football. They, they did football. soccer at Yankee Stadium too. That was stupid. <laughs> oh, I knew yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's where and NYCFC played for a bit. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of couple places. Yeah, what's they the they best uh, live sports food? What pretzels? The best live sports food? Pretzels with cheese, peanuts, and cracker jacks. I don't know. Whatever the song says. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Bring no. some I, I go. And I, go if you're, I go. I go. Nathan's cheese fries if they have them. That's, that's a good one. Solid. That's a good one. Yeah, the yeah. little red fork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong. Cheese. I would say cheese fries. That's definitely a good one. I say cheese pretzels, man. Sure. Cheese fries, pretzels are pretzel, good. Any, Hot dog. Yeah, pretzels good. Something something salty. What's the opinion here on the corn dog? Nah. Not for the sports food in general. No. Not corn dogs? I haven't had too many corn dogs. <sighs> when I was life. younger, I loved them. Corn dogs are great. I really liked them when I was younger. I'm not a... Corn I like pigs in the, a blanket, so... Is the, breading, blanket? the breading like is sweet. sweet. The breading but is the sweet, corn and is I don't sweeter. like it. Oh, because it's like cornmeal. It's yeah. corn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's why I don't like it, I don't like it. I used to put a little ketchup on it. If it was if it was like more like bready as opposed to Maybe I would. Like if it was like... If it wasn't sweet, I think I'd like it. Yeah. My mommy's But then that's just pig in a blanket. My mommy's get these little like heatable ones you well, just throw them in the stick. microwave or the toaster but it's pigs in a blanket on a stick yeah I'd like that okay <laughs> <laughs> that's better if it was just like a regular bread that's what he was yeah yeah or yeah or like with uh with like when he said pigs in a blanket because that's puff pastry I don't know why no I'm just honestly like you a... can make you can make money just making like make it bread and then change the bread like put garlic herbs on it or put like spices on it I mean, to yeah, make yeah, the bread yeah. spicy have you ever have you made like pigs in a blanket from scratch no we'll do that what Try did you that. have to make it's really good well, I mean, it's not bread. It's what he said, puff pastry. Yeah. But puff pastry is good. I see. I see what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. Like one time I did that, where it's like I made like, uh, like it was pigs on a blanket, but then you put like some like garlic butter on the outside, so Ooh. it's like kind of like garlic bread. Ooh, I don't I like how my it. brain works. I wish I could contribute something cool, like cook culinary wise to this, but I'm just like, how do you get <laughs> the sausage that small? Do you buy them pre? Yeah, you cut <laughs> you them. Yeah, cut they're them. pre. Yeah, they're small. Like I would pre, I don't cut know. them. I would want to get them pre. Yeah, yeah. they're pre. Yeah. I'm trying to learn a lot of fucking. Uh, I'm gonna pre. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pre. You could get like a like a tiny links, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's Yo, what I'm you guys ever played slap ball at a park? No, like handball. I mean, we played slap handball. ball at school. Handball, yeah. handball in a park. Handball yeah. in a park. I ever tell you the I handball? School. I ever tell you the handball story with my mom? No. My mom uh, took me. You know that we have the GameStop here. We we my mom used to walk me there sometimes, and she'd let me buy a game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I remember it was the summer. I think I, I actually remember what games I bought. I bought Portal Two. And I bought Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and I never played it. The wow. point is, is I had those two games. And we were walking back to my house, and we stopped by the park. And my mom was like, let's go play handball. And I was like, That must what? be the, First off, that's so weird. Yeah. Like, that would catch me so, like, yeah. so off guard. I'm probably like 11, 12 years old. Why the fuck do you want to play with me? Yeah, so my mom was like, you want to play handball? And I was like... We don't we don't even have a handball. She pulls out a handball and I was like, All right, this chick obviously had this shit planned. <laughs> she had a whole fucking thing. We go inside, we play a handball, she proceeds to destroy me twenty one nothing. <laughs> it's the most athletic I've ever seen my mother in her life. I come to find out that apparently my mom, my dad, my uncles, my aunts are all like incredibly skilled handball players. It's like all they It's did believable. In their it's very believable. My uncle Danny is apparently godlike at handball. Yeah. They say so like, like mad like, Latinos shit. are really good at handball, especially Puerto Ricans. But well, I don't have to... much handball experience. I used to know a lot of kids back in the day who that was their fucking shit to the point where it wasn't even like like they would go and they'd play handball with like the old heads and they were like just wow. as for like ten hours. Yeah, yeah. they were like that. They had the gloves and all that shit and they were like my age. Like they would go right from school over there. Bro, it's like at the park right there on fucking Atlantic. There's always like mad old heads. Bro. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're fucking. It's yeah. a sport there, bro. I want to. I want to get back into handball. Bro, <laughs> I have too, late, too late. Um, too late. I'm past that. Shit. Very too late. Shit, Way too late. Man. Man. I want to try to bring any, it back. You know what? No, any no, sport you're not. Deal, deal, now? Deal, deal, deal. Go for it, Joey. <laughs> Go for it. I want to see Joey the handball player. Please do. Take lots of pictures. In middle school, we used to play with this weird rule. If you haven't started, like if you're 25 and you handball. haven't started an activity, it's like, <laughs> get better at the... The stuff you already yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. At least that's my... What if I want to do like... What if I want to be a woodworker? Just all of a sudden. I, t- I mean, if you want to try something that's more expressive, like interpretive dance, that's easier. It's, <laughs> I like how like, Dylan just straight up said, no, Bobby. Do interpretive dance. No, Bobby. Do something more. Because that's subjective. Do something that's... <laughs> no, because it's like wood... 
You know what I mean, though? Because it's like woodcutting is like you can't be like an objective wood, subjective woodcutter. It's you're good or you're bad. Like interpretive dance, it's like I can interpret it the way I want. Yeah, but you can be good until you get better. You can be bad until you get good is what I'm trying to say. I fucking love Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. Oh, shit. I don't know what weird rule we used to play with a handball, but we used to beam each other with the handball. <laughs> Yet, I remember yet, those suicide, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We used to play this game where we just like peg yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. I, yeah, remember this. I, I it, never I played. Don't, I don't remember. I, the, I don't remember the rules, but I think it was like so. First of all, the the, the school I went to before I went to St. Liz, where we met, it had a big like handball wall. It was just technically yeah. the wall to the building, but it was it was flat with no bumps in it, and it was white, so we used it as a handball wall. So we used to play this game, and back in the day, the teachers didn't give up fuck what game you played they just left you out there yeah. for 30 minutes Word. and you came back and if you were hurt you just go to the nurse that was, yeah. it was not, yep. a, not on their pay Word. grade that's what i remember so we fucking we went we were playing like this game and it, they called it suicide and i don't remember how the game works but i think it's, it was something along the lines of like somebody throws the ball at the wall and everybody has to run to the wall mm -hmm. and touch it and the last person to touch the wall before the other person catches it has to stand in front of the and wall get and get beamed <laughs> like five times with the ball because that's fun. Like that, that's a fun game that these I kids could play. I remember this so and you, specifically. And you cover your heart and you cover your nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> and it doesn't hurt that badly, but it hurts like a little. Bro, yeah. handballs hurt. Yeah, but it, it's not gonna like you're not gonna. Yeah, bleed. you're not gonna like. Bruise. You're not gonna bleed, but yeah, they still it's gonna hurt. hurt. Nowadays, they're like no no Squid Game costumes. <laughs> you can't play Red Light Green Light, and you can't play any of the games yeah. they play on Squid Games. Damn, that brought me back. I remember my old uh, my old my old school uh, like just. It was kind of like a compound. I know that's not really the mm -hmm. word, but you know how like most Catholic schools, you have the church and the school and the mm -hmm. this and the that. This one, it had the school, it had the church, and then it had a building that was technically part senior center. And my grandma had a friend named Ida. She passed away, but she was a really sweet lady. But the point is, is Ida used to have to walk to the center through the recess yard. So I would see her like pass through the recess <laughs> yard. Random old lady walking by there. No, but she, was, she we were close. Like I loved Titi Aida, and I'd be like Aida, and she would run to me and she'd be like, "Oh, Bobby, how are you?" Da da da. She'd give me a big hug, but she always just she always right to the head. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of smirking. Yeah, yeah, You'll see yeah, in the video. Yeah, I'm like I'm waiting always, for like. No, no, no. She always used to slip me like five dollars. Oh shit. Hey yo, like every other day. And you know when you're crazy. a kid, that's that's, that's a lot of money. That's, that's yeah. bread. That's, that so she would, she would like money. slip me that, and I'd be like, and I was really nice. I'd be like, no, no. She'd be like, take it, Papa. It's okay. And I was like, thank you. I, I appreciate it. And then I go to my friends. I'd be like, check this shit out. And they'd be like, <laughs> who is that, Bobby? Like, what the fuck? I'd be like, I just got I it. Just, like I that, gave her some homie. drugs, you know. <laughs> oh my god. So I just when dealer, I was five, bro. and I got five. When I was little, and I got five dollars, I was just like physically envisioned how much chips I could buy. Yeah. Bro, I remember one time I had a cousin. Who wanted me to do something for him he was like an older cousin and i didn't want to do it and he was like i'll give you five dollars mm -hmm. and i was like i'm not gonna do it for five dollars and this was back when 25 cent bags of chips were a thing and he was like bobby you could buy 20 bags of chips with five dollars and i was like this motherfucker is right yeah, he knows me <laughs> so well that is oh he's 100 percent right i could buy Bro. 20 bags so of I, chips. i don't know if that. anyone else did this but we played uh so we wanted to play like baseball but we didn't. We couldn't obviously play baseball at recess, mm. so we just threw the ball. A catch. Yeah, it was. It was. It was baseball, but you would just throw it to where <laughs> no one was standing. No, it was so fucking. Bro, you, it I was can relate so. To that. Fucking it was weird. No, it was really. No. It was really. We played it for five years. No, we played it every that, year. We used to play me. football at my school with a handball, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's man. Like, like a fucking like real MLB game. Yeah. Like, he like walks up to the plate. There's no pitcher. The guy just has the ball. He looks around. He's like, I didn't even realize this. Oh, it, it's literally Bobby. Imagine that, but with seven year olds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and, you just throw it and run. Yeah, and, and what and you know and you you could be get creative with it, right? Because you wanted to like throw like a line drive. Because if you threw it in the air, you'd catch it and be it out. But, uh, you know, you do it like a bunt, you like spin it, you like throw it like really soft. And then if you hit, we made a rule where if you got it into the basketball hoop, it was a home run. Because <laughs> it wow. was like, it was like mad far away in the corner. And if you got that. Joey and I had it? fucking, I mean, Joey and I had leagues at our fucking school. We had <laughs> leagues at our, I was just about to be like, bro, Bob and I had actual leagues in our school. We had a diamond. Our, our schoolyard wasn't like massive. 
but it had like it was like a L shape, mm-hmm. and then at the corner of that L shape, we had an actual baseball diamond with like plates and everything, and we we had a, a handball, and the goal was we couldn't like throw the handball and hit it. We had to bounce the handball off the ground and then swing our palm or fist. And that's even play dumber than we what called I it said. slap ball, and we <laughs> called it slap ball. This Handball, was a, this uh, throw ball is better than Dylan, slap ball. This was a sport. I'm talking like each grade had teams. Yeah, we had teams too. Yeah. <laughs> but and, and it wasn't like the teachers did it. Like this was all the kids doing. Yeah, it this was, was all the kids doing. All right, this is our team. This is the, this is our team. This is this team. We're gonna do this. The, the, on Mondays it's this team versus this team, and on Tuesday it's this team versus this team. Yeah, yeah, organized. Yeah. <laughs> As, when you're when you're doing sports as a child recreationally, it's mad fucking organized. Word. You just don't show. You think it's like it, when you look from the outside looking in, it's like oh look at these kids, they're just showing up. It's yeah. like no, they've been thinking about this for <laughs> they weeks. Were planning it, yeah. They have shit. a whole book like, of no, shit. We can't you know? go home yet. We got a yeah. whole game to play. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like yeah, we have a whole tournament, and then we fight at the end. We have all stars. Like it's. Did you guys play uh, kickball? Yeah, we play a lot. But but that's the thing. Kick, people would get hurt in kickball. Bullshit. People would, people would like fall. People yeah. would. But then so we started throwing it. But it was like a wiffle ball. We so threw. we played a throw ball. Throw ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's better, I throw, you better, catch. But what if I slap it? That makes it not this stupid. They don't play slap ball anymore. The tradition's dead, and they paint it over the baseball. <laughs> nice. Wow. Right. We, were, we were the good generation. <laughs> Says every generation. Dumb Says every generation. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it is about that time. Woo! Jam and yam. And slam and bam. You should add that if we have like a... Whenever we do like the yam, the and whenever yeah, whenever like, the rebrand, whenever Bob wants to do it, it's not whenever Bob wants to do it. It's whenever Dylan answers my fucking questions about the rebrand. But anyways, <laughs> enough about that. Uh, fucking, I had my jam ready to go, and now I'm furious with anger. Oh Ooh. no! I should be like, my jam is Bones Rest by Rory Four Over Four because that's the the top song on my playlist. Nice. But that was technically a yam last week. But a, a, a mm. nod to Dylan because that song is a fucking banger. Yeah, can I, that can is I a dope first? song. Can I go first? Ooh. No. Uh, my jam of the week is going to be Feels by Kalani. Ooh. Yeah. She's got a very soulful, sweet voice. I like it. Nice. She was at she the... Uh, her and another female artist were at the uh, Don Tolliver concert. Oh, nice. Yeah. Pull up. How about like the after party? Good song. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> That's the my jam. of no. the week. Is uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 by Suicide Boys. Hey, just good nice. Song, the best Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Got a pretty good name. That's a pretty good name. <laughs> I I was stuck between four slams, but uh, with Dylan's help, he kind of like single, like lowered it down for me. So my choice is called What's Up by Mom Jeans. It's a, a song that came out, I think, maybe like a week ago. About, About a, week a week ago. A week ago. Mm-hmm. Week ago. Hey, look at that. You wanted to go first, and now you're going last. Ha 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 ha. Right, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, it should be nice to me. I'm sorry. Uh, my <laughs> nice necklace. Stop trying to be the victim. <laughs> my my uh, yam is my only friend, by Ill Spectre. Me right. Myself, because everyone hates me. No, no, <laughs> I'm your. No, it's a good song. Uh, it's very uh, math rocky technical guitar Ooh, vibes. Very nice. I haven't listened to a lot of math rock. Uh, I Jerry forgot that was a good more math rock and his more little heart. Mo- more uh, awesome. more on like the melodic side. It'd be something like Bobby listens to. I would say. I would describe it as that, but it's good. It's getting to a point where you could just be like, it's a Bobby song. It's a Joey song. It's a Jose song. And it, it is. It's it weird. Is. Just pick <laughs> pick a song. I don't weird. know. I want the commenters, like, once we get once we get big, like, for people to be like, all right, uh, we're going to guess song. your guy's slams now. And it's, like, pretty close <laughs> to what we were going to it's gonna what be a song. Gonna it's just, that's how we get our Joey would pick this song. Bobby would pick yeah, this right. song. If people Do are it. sending us music like that, I like, won't even oh, need sick. to have a right. fucking yam. I have all my music. Exactly. <laughs> people send so me what I need. Just to come music on. Again. What happened? Can you imagine never having to look for music like that again. You wake up and a fan sends you, listen to this song. Word. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, this is kind of a banger. And then you shout out that fan. Shout out to this fan for introducing me to this song. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for joining us here for episode 60 Cinco of the Joystick Show. Make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us for this hour. Yeah. Sorry, I'm all stuffed up. Yeah, uh, fucking cold. Dill, we comment in anything? Uh, yeah, comment what your jam or yam is. That's what you've done that before. Yeah, you but... know what? Also comment what you used to play in fucking. Recess. Yeah. What did you play in the schoolyard? Did you play That's throw ball? One. Did you play slap ball? Did you play kick ball? Did you play anything without a ball? Just or, let us yeah. know. Did you play with your ball? Very possible. <laughs> you might have been that. You might have been that balls. weird kid, and there's a high chance you're watching us right now. So <laughs> playing with your balls. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So thank you for joining us. Uh, and uh, yeah. does yeah. anybody Rip. have anything left to say at all? This is the part where anybody says anything they have left to say. I got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs>